Hello there, this is Joe Reinhardt and this demo is actually from my Cisco CCNA voice training course. Now that we've dealt with the Unity Express and Communications Manager Express configurations from the graphical user interface, I want to introduce a very important concept that has to do with troubleshooting. This will be true not just in Cisco Unified Communications Manager Express and Unity Express or Communications Manager or Unity Connection or Presence. This will actually be involved with anything that's network related. And being able to accurately troubleshoot and diagnose is a critical factor in success in both telephony and the network worlds you have to start with a basic troubleshooting methodology. To just charge in and try to figure things out will frequently become very frustrating and non-productive. Having a methodology that you use consistently is going to make the difference in being effective and being frustrated. It starts first with beginning the process of defining what the problem is. Frequently users will come to you and say things like the network's slow or I didn't get my email at a certain time. And it may sound on the surface that you know there's just some kind of severe network problem but if you peel the layers back you actually might be able to figure out what they're actually experiencing. Was there some outage that you were aware of for example that you can correlate that with? So you start with figuring out what exactly is the problem because sometimes the problem that's presented to you as an engineer is not what the problem actually is. Things like the network slow is so vague it's difficult to even tell what that means. So understand actually what the problem is. Then you gather your facts. What exactly is related to the problem that's being described? gather those facts. Put them in a documented format. If they ever have to be referred to later, it's very helpful. Usually a centralized document repository is helpful. Once you've gathered the facts and you've documented, try to consider what the possibilities are of something that could be causing this particular problem. What are root causes? Go back to the basics. Go from the ground up and try to figure out what could be causing that particular problem. Consider those possibilities. Based on that, create an action plan. How would you correct this problem? Do this one possibility at a time because if you try to do too many things at once and you implement three fixes and it fixes the problem you're not sure which one actually fixed the problem and so that's one of the things that can happen when you're trying to do too much change at once so once you have the action plan implement it then ask yourself effectively are the problems stopped make sure the problem is actually solved if it's true then just figure out what the results are document how you did that where it came from and those sorts of things and then you're done if it doesn't go back figure out your next best idea and your third best idea and if you've exhausted all those you may have to go back to the fact gathering phase but this particular model really will serve you well in a network troubleshooting situation now we just want to touch a, briefly on some common issues with the express platforms frequently one that you'll run into is a phone not receiving an IP address you start off by making sure that CDP Cisco Discovery Protocols enabled on that switch or port because if you recall you cannot get a phone's VLAN configuration without CDP otherwise you have to do something manual verify that CDP is enabled verify that the voice VLAN configuration is on the switch and also make sure DHCP configuration is correct I had a problem with the phones in the lab registering at one point and that's because I would put it in an exclusion address you know the IP DHCP excluded address that excluded everything in the range so it was no wonder nothing was happening I must have looked at the configuration seven or eight times before I finally figured out that was the problem because it was just one number out of a whole string of them if the phone's not registering with Communications Manager Express, go under the telephony service configuration and make sure the correct load command, remember load provides the files to the phones, make sure it's present and correct. Make sure the IP source address command is present. That's one of the things that can really trip you up and I've had it happen myself. And when you've made a change in the telephony configuration settings, make sure you execute the create CNF files to refresh the configuration files and then obviously restart devices. That can create all kinds of problems. You may have already fixed the problem, you just didn't apply it essentially. Make sure all the phone loads are listed in the TFTP server commands. This is from the global configuration mode. There's usually a whole list of them. And then again, restart or reset phones after making changes. Another common issue is the inability to reach voicemail. Make sure there's a dial peer statement pointing to the Cisco Unity Express module. For instance, if you're using 800, which we were using a little bit in our configuration exercises, make sure that particular dial peer is pointing back at the IP address of the Cisco Unity Express module. Make sure it's a SIP connection and make sure the module's operational. 
because frequently one of the things that can happen, you can do show service module status and you'll actually be able to see whether or not it's operational. For some reason it's shut down or there's an issue, then that would obviously be the problem. Sometimes users may have a problem dialing outside the organization. Start with checking the PSTN connection. If it's a digital PRI line, make sure that it's working correctly. If it's analog, you may just plug an old handset in to verify there's, there's actually dial tone. There hasn't been a cable cut or something else. For a T1 PRI, one of the things you can do to check circuit status is do the show ISDN status command. You'll see something that says physical layer active or deactivated. That's a good sign right there that there may be a problem if it says deactivated. You can also look at layer two. You're looking for something that says TEI assigned. Make sure that that's working correctly. Make sure all phones loads are listed in the TFTP server command. We talked about that. And make sure your dial peer statements for POTS outbound are correct. Thanks for watching. For more information regarding our training, please visit www.trainsignal.com.